So this is Tynemouth at the northern end of the River Tyne, the northern estuary. And this is like, it's the posh end of Newcastle. In fact, I'd say it's the posh end of Whitley Bay as well. It's got a feeling a bit like that of Hampstead, for those who know London. It's, uh, yeah, it's got very pleasant places. Particularly on a day like today, the 9th of September, 2009. 090909. It's the day you might have wanted to get married. Except you left it too late. Not to worry, so did I. And there's a church which has been put to some positive use because I think it's now a bookshop or something like that. And uh, and so they've retained, there wasn't enough uh, of the faithful to go around, but they've retained something, they've retained the architecture, they've retained it, uh, which is nice. Some wonderful old houses, probably most of which are now flats. There you are, and there's another thing that reminds me of Hampstead in London, Lady at Village Gate. Or should I really say Hampstead? It reminds me of Tyne now from here we can see the River Tyne and the piers which, uh, one of the two piers which protect it uh, from, from the uh, raging sea when it's raging of course and beyond that there's South Shields to the south of the uh, river and North Shields is on the right, you can't see it from here. There we have the uh, castle and priory which has been on this site now for oh, hundreds and hundreds of years, about 900 years I think. And we have on top of it the flag of English heritage, which uh, administers a lot of these things. Um, you know, get membership of English heritage, in fact I had membership uh, when I was living in the United Kingdom, I think it cost £65 a year or something. And for two people you can get into all of the, uh, all of the castles in the country at will. And you also get one from the National Trust, which I think is about eighty pounds, and you can get into all of their properties. We're just slightly different. National Trust properties are sort of not so historic, but they've got stuff in them. Now, oh. there's a lorry. Now we have a wonderful view of the sea. Uh, there's the Gibraltar Rock pub. Now this is a uh, part of a tradition within my family. Is that uh, on birthdays we have parties there. That's what I'm going here because my mother will be eighty on on Sunday, and on Saturday night we're going there. Uh, to the Gibraltar Rock, and uh, uh, following in this tradition, I think that my next my next uh, round birthday, which will take place on the 9th of November 2011, I think I will be here at the Gibraltar Rock um, instead of being at the Bioplastics Conference in Berlin. So if anyone's expecting me to see me in the Bioplastics Conference on, in Berlin on November 2011, I'm afraid I will be here at the Gibraltar Rock. And that's a nice uh, time clock thing, and there's a view down uh, what I would call High Street Time now. Uh, don't know what really in the street is. Hampstead look-alike. So there we have the beach at Time Mouth, and as can be seen, it's a lovely sandy beach, and there's next to nobody on it. And the uh, but look at that wonderful expanse. Of course, I mean, today it's not too bad the weather. Uh, 9th of September, and um, though I mean I have been on it many times in August and July, and it's been uh, not really up to it. Uh, five years ago, no, when was it? 2003 or 2004, it would have been five years ago, perhaps, I came here, I was wearing short trousers on that day, I think, though, I was just trying to go in, or um, it was, I think it was wishful thinking on my part, in fact, it was 2003, uh, so that day has probably been on the, on, on the weather. Uh, records. Now, turning around here, we've got the we've got the uh, the, pri the castle and the priory. And what I can say about this is that this um, this this uh, building dates back to the um, well, very very ancient times. The priory itself, because uh, the earliest record that I know of, and probably I, I don't know enough, but there, there's a king, uh, the king of Daria is buried there in about 625 or 645 uh, CE. In fact, there are three kings buried in here, one king of Northumberland, a couple of hundred years later, and Malcolm III of Scotland, who, um, if I remember rightly, died in 1093. And uh, these three crowns are today the symbol of uh, Tyneside uh, on, the, uh, uh, on the flags and things that they, they put up. Yeah. The castle itself was started in the reign of uh, William II, it was just before the end of the uh, 11th century, 
although most of what's here today is from the um, 13th century. The inside though we can see the priory uh, with a wonderful backdrop to the, the sea itself. Pretty, pretty amazing. Wonderful colours today. So there's another piece of windswept beauty. Look at all that space out there, the northern beach at Tynemouth. And uh, all. And today is still theoretically the summer. Uh, might feel like it. But uh, it may do for those people out there, whatever they're doing, sort of paddling on the surfboards or something. But look at all that space. Lovely fine sand, but as can be heard, you know, there's a bit of a wind. And if the temperature were like 10 degrees uh, more, it'd be quite pleasant. Um, uh, as it stands, well, I mean, it's just annoying uh, like that. It's coming around here. You know, nice to the sea. And looking in the southerly direction, we can see here, we get a good impression of how uh, powerful that uh, castle would have been. Um, probably would have been better beautiful on the other side of the Tyne, on the south part of the Tyne, but uh, we can see the the, uh, the priory and uh, some of the walls of the castle. I bet that when Thames comes out it's going to be a big black, black smudge, it's going to look like. Uh, I'm going to get myself a more expensive camera, so if anybody wants to send me one, please do so. And um, what, a, what a powerful uh, castle I would have wanted to 